Hi, this is Ron McTube. Today we're playing Fishing Planet, and this is my guide on catching trophy bass. We're fishing on Mudwater River, Missouri. The peg where we're fishing for bass on is called Last Songs of Summer. Okay, let's start fishing. The time is 5 a.m. in the morning. Here's my rod setup which I'll show you in my inventory. I'm using a lure rod, a multiplier reel. The lure I'm using is a bass jig, one third of an ounce, 3.0 hook, green salad white. I'm using braid line, which is 0 0.008, 10 pound breaking string. I'm setting my reel speed to three, and my clutch to three also. You won't break off then. Right, let's start fishing. Right, it's just gone five in the morning. I found this is a very good time for the bass. Sometimes you pick up a very big bass straight away, as soon as you get on the water at this time. Here we go, I've got one here. I can tell straight away it's not a trophy bass because on this equipment, if it was a trophy bass, you hear the clutch going straight away. Also, it'll be on the last bit of the indicator so I'm going to pull this straight in. It's probably going to be the average of about two pound. There we go, two pound one. So that's the normal stamp of fish you'll get on this equipment setup. So we'll try again. With the bigger bass, don't expect them to be all the time. Often you'll get quite a few smaller fish and then you'll hit into a big one. And then when you hit into that, you'll know straight away it's a bigger fish. I will often fish for about 10 minutes at a time then assess what's going on. If it's very slow and nothing's happening then I'll use the time skip function. To use the time skip function you press T and then you can skip forward how many hours you wish to. Once you've learned certain hotspot times then most people do this and they'll skip forward to a favourite time which produces for them. I've found that 11 a.m. seems to work very well for bass as well, so I'll try this for a bit longer. If there isn't any action, then we'll skip to 11 o'clock using the time function. You can use other lures. Uh, the casting spoons work very well, and the size of the bass are tied to the size of the spoons and the lures. So to get the bigger bass, you really do need the bigger lures so don't worry about it for a start just build yourself up gradually and as you level you are better buy the bigger gear which in turn it sort of learns you how to fish and how to handle the fish as you progress so we've had a go at this time of day it's a bit slow at the minute so we're going to use the time function as with real fishing you can have a really good time or you can have a slow time. There's always different periods in the day where it's going to be better than others. So you just need to adapt, be ready to change and try something else. So I'll reel in and then we'll use the time function and then we're going to go to 11 and see if that's any better. So here's a time function just skipping forward 6 hours, 11am. Hopefully we'll hit that big trophy bass we're looking for. Same position, same gear, just plod away and then we're just trying to hit that big bass. You can fish on the right hand side, there's a little tree stump which you can often aim for but you seem to get quite a few uh, pike there. You do get the odd bass there as well. And I have had trophy bass from that side, but this side seems to yield more bass. What I'm currently doing when I fish on this lake for bass is I alternate between two lures. One is the lure I'm using now, which I've told you about, and the second one is the casting spoon. Now, I use the casting spoon after I've caught a trophy bass on this lure. The reason I do that is I found on the casting spoons seem to catch more medium sized bass so for time and reward I think it's a little bit better using the casting spoon 
currently I don't have the larger casting spoon I like which is a three quarter ounce one um, it's a yellow and red diamonds on it with that one you seem to get all the medium sized bass more often and you get the trophy bass so when I level up that's what's going on I've got a smallish bass here medium one 2.1 pound that's a normal stamp of fish we're still after that trophy bass I know he's here somewhere we will get him retrieval and lures depends with what you're fishing with I'm fishing with a jig so bounce this across the bottom I normally do a couple of turns stop couple of turns stop couple of turns stop that seems to make it bounce quite nice with this lure with a spoon I tend to do it keep it in the middle of the water and that seems to work with that into another fish so this time seems to be working today just under two pound which is the normal stamp of fish I expect to catch with lures you're trying to normally mimic uh, an injured fish or something darting sometimes fish want it slow fast or just to look like they're injured it, so just alternate how you retrieve it there is a little guide in the box it will say slow and steady and things like that so if you pay attention to that you know when you're keeping it in the sort of right area of your retrieval I am a lure fisherman in real life I have fished uh, with spinners, spoons, plugs, you name it for many years, over 20 years so this comes a second nature to me I understand some people are new and they, they don't know it so you have to spare a little time if someone asks you a question about it or this is one of the reasons I'm making a guide because not everyone does know how to play it and it can cause frustration so this does help a lot of people out and a lot of new players people play the game to have fun and catching no fish is no fun at all so hopefully this helps you all out to catch that big bass we're still looking for hours hopefully it will come along soon I'm quite surprised I haven't had one yet because I normally catch one pretty quickly but I'm determined we will get one come on fishy There is a couple of snags just near these bull, bulrushes as well, reeds. You often get them with a jig, so it can trick you. You think, oh, I've got a fish, and it's one of the snags. I tend to just stop, let the line come back, and then reel on if I go near the snag. I will be doing plenty more fishing videos for Fishing Planet, so please make sure you subscribe I'm enjoying playing the game this does not affect my hunter side of my videos I'm doing that as well so they're just two games I like playing right what we've been waiting for and here we go this is a trophy bass I know straight away because the reels go in the clutch is going and we're right at the top of where it could snap the line so pull this in and let's have a look it's fighting well if you don't set your clutch it will snap you so here we go four pounds six six so there's a trophy bass i'm ron mctube thanks for watching